Hi, I'm Max. Welcome to MGB. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make my ship the best ship in all of Starfield. Look at that clean, sleek design. It's perfect. Absolutely destroys any ship that you come across. It's super fast. And I personally love that you can't even see the docker either. No more wasting time. I'm going to show you how to make it right now. So here we are in the ship builder, I'm sure you're all familiar with it. This all looks quite confusing right now, but trust me, you're going to get it. So we're going to start with this one by one hab piece. Obviously for all of the habs you can use whatever habs you want, as long as they're the same dimensions. So right here at the bottom, I actually have a docker equipped. I'm using the 100 DP slim docker, because if you select this docker, and flip it, you can actually flip it upside down to use on the bottom of your ship. A docker on the bottom of the ship is always the best option, it gives the best look to the ship. For the first 2x1 hab, I'm using the computer core simply just because I like how the inside looks, and I'm going to be using the Hope Tech one because it looks the best from the front when the ship is finally complete. And this just goes on the front of the 1x1 one one hab. And then we're going to move on to the next 2x1 hab, which is a Teo 2x1 top hab. I use this one because it's very smooth on the top, and it just looks great when you have it completely surrounded. For the fuel tanks, I'm going to be using M50 Ulysses tanks, which aren't the best fuel tanks. However, using two of them, they are the best to keep the ship looking symmetrical. And and we're going to attach these actually hanging off the bottom like this. We do this because it covers up where the docker is on the bottom of the ship. And I'm going to be using the Marduk 1040A shield because it has quite a low max power, which means when we're in a battle we can actually put most of our power onto the weapons, which ends fights instantly. And this shield generator is just going to go right on the top of our ship, where it's just barely going to be seen because it's such a small shield. Now that our shield is in place, we can finally move on to the most important part of the ship, the reactor core. I'm using the Fusor DC402 reactor, which produces 34 power, but later can be upgraded into a reactor that produces 38 power, which is the maximum amount of power. This reactor is going to go on the bottom of our hab here, and is going to be surrounded by the rest of the ship, so that we can't even see it. And to start surrounding it, we're going to be using this whole piece, which can be found in the structural section of the ship builder. And we're going to do this on both sides. You can replace this with any other one by one structural piece that has connections on all sides. However, I think this looks the best, although it's not the lightest, but it is the best. And for the landing gears, we're going to be using 320 CB landing gears, which are made by Deimos. And because the ship is going to be so light, you only need two of these on each side underneath this structural hull piece. And then after this, we're going to be adding our cargo. Now for any of you pirates out there, I'm going to be using shielded cargo. However, you can replace this with any cargo, like this Caravel V102 cargo hold. However, if you are a pirate, do keep in mind that for the shielded cargo to work, you also need a jammer and all of these things that you can get from the key. Although if you're not a pirate, any non-shielded version is fine as well. The RD3000 Beta Grav Drive is the grav drive that we're going to be using. However, you'll see that there is no connection point for the grav drive to go. So for this, we're going to be connecting our engines first, and the grav drive will actually connect to the underside and around of the engines. So we're going to start with this. White Dwarf 3015 engine, which actually you will find engines that say that they are better than these engines. However, they won't actually make these engines any better. You see, if I scroll down, even to the same type of engine, but it's one that has a higher maneuvering thrust, it will actually put our top speed down. The 3030 engines statistically should be better however has actually made the ship worse because the top speed is lower and the maneuvering speed is the same so we're going to be getting rid of the 3030s and using the quote-unquote worse engines which actually make the ship faster i'm going to be using four of these engines simply because i like how it looks and it works well although you don't need four of these to get the same result and it honestly just makes it heavier 
you could probably get away with having less. But I'm going to be adding all four of these in this order you can see now because it looks cooler and also creates a space for the grav drive. As a side note, if you're ever out of your ship, I would go up to the grav drive and look inside it because that is actually where the armillary, I think it's called, is stored. So if you've ever wondered where it's actually supposed to be on your ship, look inside your grav drive, it's in there. And now for a little bit of flair, we're going to be adding these Deimos wings to either side, as well as this Deimos bumper to the front of the wing, which creates a sort of a bug-like shape, which is why I have nicknamed this ship after the deadliest creature alive, the Ladybird. After our little bug body is done, it's time to move on to the head of the bug, and we're going to be starting with the NG-60 landing bay, and most of the landing bays statistically are pretty much identical, however I like this one because it has connection ports on the bottom, which you can use for your equipment if you're being a pirate, basically. And next we're going to be adding the our first set of weapons on, which are the PB-40 auto electron beams. Using particle beams for our weapons is so much easier, and we're going to be using these ones on weapon mounts. All of our weapons are going to be on weapon mounts, because it just adds a nice angular feel to how they're equipped, and also allows us to even place them on the side of the ship in the first place. And next we're going to be doing some more structural with this front-facing window, as well as a Stroud engine bracer, which is one of the hardest parts to find. You'll have to probably go to the Shroud Eklund spaceport to be able to find them. And we're going to create this pattern with our Deimos wings, as well as connect our weapons to the end. These weapons are PB-175 Helion beams, or Helium beams. We're going to be adding two of these on each side attached to our weapon mount, which is attached to our arrangement of Deimos wings. These are great because their rate of fire goes up as you add power to them and we're going to be doing the exact same layout on the other side to make the ship nice and symmetrical with our wings as well as our weapons these are the same weapons as the opposite side our particle beams and finally we're going to be adding our massive DS 30.1 Ares bridge or cockpit for all you horrid creatures out there it may feel unnecessary to add a bridge this large although you'll notice that the bridges actually contain space for cargo as well so this is where we're going to be getting most of our cargo from because it holds 300 cargo and it also allows us to have eight crew just from the cockpit which is the most crew that you can have fully upgraded it's eight you'll see that now our top speed is also 180 which is the highest and overall I just really like this ship and I love the colours, feel free to use the colours that I've used although obviously you can use any colour, any hab that you want. This ship is as good as it gets however if you go to the upgrades and then go to engine you can actually upgrade your engine further which for some reason you can't seem to find this engine anywhere if you're in the ship builder but as soon as you go to upgrade you can upgrade it and it's right there just better completely better. Your mass is worse but that doesn't mean anything if your top speed or maneuverability just doesn't go down and you will have a look here as well you see it tells you that your engine can be better if you upgrade it but your top speed will go down so statistically it will look better but your ship will just perform worse so keep it. You do need to have ship piloting and ship engineering maxed out to be able to make this ship Although, if you haven't got it maxed out, then just use the lower level versions of each of these parts. I hope the Ladybird works just as well as she does for you as she does for me. Let me know if you liked the video and comment down below if you would like to see me create my Star Destroyer in a future video. And maybe check out my Starfield Let's Play series as well. I'll see you guys in the next one. Mihoi minoi. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.